Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ian is a Weirdo. Today we are on day 10. Two full hands. Day 10. Almost a third of the way, basically a third of the way through 31 day projects, the 31 projects of Halloween. This is so exciting. I'm really excited, but wow, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm so behind on things. So, um, let me pull our next, um, word and or words from, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that in the last one. I was like, oh no. Um, let's pull our next, uh, word and see what we get. So, um, I'm in my boxers, so you, you guys are surprised. So, I, I don't know why I warn you. I, uh, courtesy, I guess. So we're on day 10. Please be an easy one. Please be an easy one. Okay. So, the word of the day is monster. Okay. Wow, I feel like we could really go a lot of places with that. So, I've been talking about doing, um, a tentacle plant out of my, um, out of my little sugar skull that I have over there. Um, so that would be really cool to do and very monstrous and, you know, whatnot. Um, let's see. I like, now I'm overwhelmed with like too many ideas. Um, okay, so, let's see, I'm like, really like, overwhelmed and like, not have too many ideas, I don't know where to start. Okay, so we already did Frankenstein, so, don't want to do that, um, let's see, this should be so much easier for me, but unfortunately, it's just not. Um, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know. This is, yeah, so the technical plan is a strong contender. Um, I could dye different yarns, different classic, um, um, different classic monster colors. Um, so that um, they can look real spooky and um, I can work with those um, later, but at least I'll have like dyed some yarn and that'll be um, different and new. Um, so, let's see. So we've already done Mummy. Um, we've already done, okay, so let's see what is a good, um, what is a good, maybe I can make, like, crochet, like, a necklace. Of, um, like, vampire-like lips and teeth. Um, I, I could do, <coughs> I could choke more. <coughs> so, um, I could do, I could do an amigurumi of, um, let's see, there's so many monsters I could do amigurumis of, uh, I could do a werewolf. 
Um, what was I thinking about that it might be cool? Because I'm thinking of using like the loop stitch um, and uh, cutting it and creating hair. I think that's really cool. Um, but um, Swamp Thing would be cool. Um, there, like, I know so many monsters, I promise, I know more than fucking three monsters, but, like, I just can't narrow it down, like, I don't even know, like, how to narrow it down, um, so... Are ghost monsters? Did I do ghosts already? Do I have ghosts in the lineup? I don't know. I mean, we could do we could do multiple things with ghosts. Um, Okay, I am being super productive, and this is going great, um, in case you're wondering. Um, okay, so I think my most... Ooh, I could do the, um... I do want to do two slash uh, poison ivy plant. That was a really fun creation that I did a long time ago, and it would be really fun to revamp that and um, make it uh, make it again. So um, that could be cool. I'm gonna think about this because I'm sure there's like every other monster in human lore. <laughs> Um, and even some monsters that aren't in human lore that I could create, you know, um, but my brain's just, like, overwhelmed. This is, like, it's like getting the color black, which I think actually might be <laughs> in there as well. <laughs> it's like, you could do so much, so how do you know what to do? So, I got some ideas, I'm going to think on it a little bit, might come back, might not, so. So I talked to Mel, and she had some great ideas, and I also did a little bit of internet googling, um, actually more of, um, YouTube searching, um, to see what was out there, what patterns were available, what I could do, just give me some inspiration on monsters, and, um, so, um, I also added dragon, demon, and then Mel had a really good idea to do a pillow. So, um, I used to make these fleece pillows, and, um, I would make them in characters. So I did some Lord of the Rings characters for her. Um, so I did Legolas, and I did Gandalf. And, um, they're really simple shapes, they're really easy to sew, um, so I think I'm gonna sew this time, and, um, the, the monster that I connected with the most was Medusa, and, um, one, I think Medusa is just beautiful, um, my dog and cat are chasing each other around, this is super fun, um, but, uh, you know, I think Medusa is, like, um, the monster that the world turned her into, and I always have been really interested in Medusa and, um, and why she does what she does. So, um, so I think I'm gonna make a pillow of just Medusa's head. I have, like, a really rough drawing here. I know it's really bad, and we're not gonna do the neck. So we're gonna do just the hair, 
snakes, and we're gonna do her face. And um, this is gonna require um, some sewing, and it's gonna be a pillow, and it's also gonna require some fabric painting um, with both um, with both uh, regular fabric paint and with puff paint. Um, so it's gonna take a while to dry. So hopefully that doesn't mess up everything because if it takes a while to dry, it's a longer period of time that it can smear and that is not good. So, um, but I really wanna make this special. I wanna do like rhinestones for the eyes of the snakes. I already have the beads um, that I'm gonna do for the eyes to make them kind of sparkle and be a little sinister and um, and it's really cool. So I'm really excited uh, to do this. Um, now that I look at my drawing, I did not get anything for the mouth. Damn it. So um, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do the mouth because it can't be open because I don't have white or black um, fleece anymore. Uh, threw it all away in the move, of course. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we had a bunch of black and white fleece, but I might be able to find some in my fleece, um, box that is somewhere around here. So, um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a lot of painting and stuff like that. I want to make it really special and really cool. So, um... So yeah, I already got some place for it, and I can't wait to show you guys, and that will be a great monster um, to do, I think. I'm really excited for it. So I hope you guys are excited about it too, and let's see how it turns out.